we often get asked the question, what's the best way of fixing caps and capping to a composite fence? So these are just suggestions, but firstly, position your caps on the post, so without fixing them, position your plastic plate and the same with the other end. This will allow you to get correct measurement between the caps. So then we're going to measure between the caps, so we make that 1735. We can then cut our capping. So we're going to cut this capping to 1735 to, to fit within the within the caps. We then take the caps off that we've obviously not fixed on, so we've just positioned loosely, put them to one side, and then measure the centre between the composite, between the posts, sorry. So 1800, centre 900. So we're going to make a little mark there, 900. We then position the spacer in the centre, so that sits in the groove of the composite, not in the tongue. So we've got groove up, space up. And then we use our BZP joiner, fixing clip, capping rail clip, and we secure that down with one screw. So one screw loosely to enable us to be able to swivel that clip round. Next stage is to pull the film right off the capping. We don't want that on, so we'll take that off. We then swivel the clip round and position on, slide onto the middle and swivel round. As you'll see, there's still no post caps, so this just allows us to get it centered. Next stage is fixing, securing the capping rail at the end of the fence. So firstly we suggest you position again on loosely the cap and just mark the end of the cap. So this is where the cap comes to on the composite fence. We then take off and we position the spacer in the groove of the composite. Next stage is to slide the joiner bracket, so the fixing clip, metal clip that we used also in the centre, so it's the same clip. We slide it in the end, just sticking out slightly. We then swivel it round and line up the end of the metal bracket with my line that I've made. So we've left it partly inside the cap, but the main thing is here, my metal clip is lined up with the line. We then pop a screw through here. So making sure we don't over tighten it. If we over tighten it, it makes it very hard to slide on the capping. We then position our capping cap, sorry, back on the post. Secure it down with wood screw either side, two fixings there, or some contractors prefer to fix through into the post and screws come provided. Top cap goes on top like that. We can then slide our capping rail up tight to the cap. It's exactly the same procedure for the other end, obviously before and making sure that you leave the clip. And when you swivel it around, the metal clip has to be positioned in the end of the capping to allow you to, to fix it down. So exactly the same procedure for the other end.